One Chinese missile reaches 7,672 miles per hour and was built to sink U.S. carriers. Russia's Avangard dives at 16,777 miles per hour. But the number one missile? It's invisible, unstoppable, and fully deployed. At number 12, we begin with Taiwan's powerful surprise, the Yunfeng missile. Built for long-range precision, it can fly at 2,255 miles per hour and hit targets up to 745 miles away. This hypersonic cruise missile uses solid fuel boosters and a ramjet engine for sustained speed and range. With an estimated accuracy of just 40 feet, it's deadly even against hardened targets. Yunfeng carries a heavy 2,200-pound warhead, designed to knock out key military sites deep inside China. Developed in 2014, it's Taiwan's first hypersonic weapon, quietly strengthening its deterrence strategy. Experts believe the extended-range version could even reach Beijing. For just $5 million per missile, it's a powerful weapon packed into a compact island defense. At number 11 is America's cutting-edge air-launched missile, the HACM, short for Hypersonic Attack Cruise Missile. Designed by the U.S. Air Force, this weapon can reach a blistering speed of 6,100 miles per hour. It's launched from aircraft like the B-52 or F-15X and can hit targets up to 1,190 miles away. Powered by a scramjet engine, CHACM stays hypersonic throughout its flight path, making it incredibly hard to stop. With a targeting accuracy of 30 feet and a 330-pound warhead, it's ideal for fast, precise strikes. Though still in its prototype phase in 2025, it's expected to change air-to-ground warfare. It's built to fly low, fast, and silent, slipping past enemy defenses before they can even react. Each unit is estimated to cost $8 million, making it a high-value asset in U.S. air power. Coming in at number 10 is India's bold leap into hypersonic warfare, the ETLDHCM, or Extended Trajectory Long-Duration Hypersonic Cruise Missile. This missile can reach speeds up to 6,200 miles per hour and travel 932 miles to its target. It was test-fired in 2025 and is powered by advanced scramjet technology for long-range missions. What sets it apart is its massive 3,300-pound warhead, one of the heaviest in the hypersonic category. With an estimated accuracy of 25 feet, it's built to strike command centers, air bases, and enemy bunkers with precision. Designed by India's DRDO, it represents a serious step towards strategic offensive capability. Though it's ground-launched, it may be adapted to air or sea platforms in the future. Costing about $7 million, it's a fierce addition to India's missile arsenal. At number 9, we have the 3M22 Zircon, Russia's powerful sea-based hypersonic missile. This ship or submarine-launched cruise missile can fly at a speed of 6,135 miles per hour and hit targets 621 miles away. It's built for naval combat, designed to sink enemy ships or strike coastal targets with precision. The Zircon is extremely hard to intercept due to its unpredictable flight path and terminal maneuvering. It carries a 660-pound warhead and can strike within an estimated 33 feet of its target. It officially entered service in 2023 and is launched from vessels like the Admiral Gorshkov frigate. Its speed allows it to beat almost any missile defense system in the world. Costing $5 million per missile, Zircon makes Russia's navy far more dangerous. Taking the number 8 spot is the Ki-95, a mysterious but deadly air-launched hypersonic missile developed by Russia. With an estimated range of 1,240 miles and a top speed of around 6,000 miles per hour, it's designed for long-range precision strikes. Though still highly classified, it's expected to be deployed from bombers like the Tu-160M and stealth jets like the Su-57. The missile is believed to carry a warhead weighing between 1,100 and 2,200 pounds, making it one of the heaviest in its class. Its estimated accuracy is within 66 feet, allowing it to hit strategic targets with devastating impact. The KH-95 is also expected to support nuclear or conventional payloads. With an initial operational date around 2025, it reflects Russia's expanding hypersonic capabilities. Each unit is estimated to cost around $6 million, putting it among Russia's elite precision strike tools. At number 7 is China's terrifying hypersonic threat to naval power, the YJ-21. This ship or air-launched missile can travel up to 932 miles and reaches a terminal speed of 7,672 miles per hour. It cruises at around 4,600 miles per hour before diving at its target, making interception nearly impossible. The YJ-21 is specifically designed to destroy large warships, including aircraft carriers, 
before defenses can react. It's equipped with an estimated 660-pound warhead and a pinpoint accuracy of under 33 feet. Deployed from advanced platforms like Type 055 destroyers and H-6N bombers, it strengthens China's control over the South China Sea. The missile became operational in 2022 and is already a major factor in regional naval strategy. Each unit costs around $4 million, making it a high-speed, high-impact threat in any maritime conflict. At number 6, we have the Dark Eagle, the U.S. Army's most powerful ground-launched hypersonic weapon. This mobile system can hit targets as far as 1,725 miles away and travels at a speed of 3,800 miles per hour. It uses a common glide body launched from a truck-mounted booster, giving it strategic reach and flexibility. With an estimated payload of 1,500 pounds and an accuracy of 49 feet, it can eliminate high-value targets in a single strike. Dark Eagle officially began fielding in 2025 and is deployed with Army hypersonic batteries. It is designed to destroy missile systems, radar arrays, and enemy launch platforms before they can strike. Its unpredictable glide path makes it nearly impossible to stop once launched. The cost per missile system is around $25 million, but it delivers unmatched battlefield advantage. At number 5 is the AGM 183 AARRW, the fastest air launched hypersonic missile in the US arsenal. This boost glide weapon reaches speeds up to 6,138 miles per hour and can strike targets 1,000 miles away. It is launched from aircraft like the B-52 and glides toward its target with incredible accuracy, estimated within 66 feet. The missile carries a 1,000-pound tungsten fragmentation warhead capable of devastating even hardened bunkers. ARW is designed to bypass enemy missile defenses with its high speed and unpredictable glide path. While low-rate production is expected to start by 2026, it is already a key part of the U.S. Air Force's strategic strike plans. It is ideal for rapid response missions that require deep penetration and zero delay. Each missile costs between $15 and $18 million, making it one of the most advanced weapons in U.S. service. At number 4 is the KH-47 M2 Kinjal, Russia's battle-tested hypersonic missile. Air-launched from MiG-31K or 222M3M bombers, it reaches 7,672 miles per hour with a 300-mile strike range. It carries up to a 1,100-pound warhead, either conventional or nuclear, and has an estimated accuracy of 49 feet. Designed to hit hardened targets like bunkers and radar stations, Kinzhal's speed makes interception nearly impossible. In service since 2017, it has already been used in Ukraine, proving its battlefield value. Its unpredictable flight adds to its survivability. At $10 million per unit, it's one of the most operationally active hypersonic threats today. Taking third place is the Avangard, a hypersonic glide vehicle launched from ICBMs that can hit speeds between 13,045 and 16,777 miles per hour. It travels over 3,700 miles and carries a nuclear payload between 100 and 500 kilotons. Its mid-flight maneuvering and estimated 328-foot accuracy make it nearly impossible to stop. Operational since 2019, Avangard is Russia's answer to missile defense systems. Deployed on strategic intercontinental launchers, it's built for second strike missions. With a unit cost of $2 billion, this glide vehicle delivers unmatched speed, stealth, and deterrence in the nuclear game. At number two is the U.S. Army's long-range hypersonic weapon using the common hypersonic glide body. This missile reaches 3,800 miles per hour with a range of 1,725 miles and carries an 800-pound warhead. It hits within 49 feet of its target and follows an unpredictable glide path that avoids radar. Fielded in 2025, it's already deployed with Army units across key theaters. Designed for precision strikes on high-value targets, it launches from mobile ground platforms. With a $25 million price tag, it adds rapid, hard-to-stop strike capability to U.S. ground forces. At number one is the upgraded variant of Avangard holding the title as the fastest deployed missile in military history. This advanced hypersonic glide vehicle reaches a jaw-dropping speed of 16,777 miles per hour and can strike targets from a range of 3,728 miles. It carries a nuclear warhead with a yield between 100 and 500 kilotons, capable of wiping out entire strategic zones and hits with an accuracy of just 328 feet. Launched atop intercontinental ballistic missiles, it begins its descent from the edge of space then glides through the atmosphere with violent maneuverability. 
its flight path is so unpredictable that it becomes invisible to most missile defense systems before impact. Operational since 2019, it plays a critical role in Russia's top-tier nuclear triad and is built specifically for second strike survivability. No missile fielded by any other nation can currently match its extreme speed, destructive power, and ability to penetrate layered defenses. At an estimated $2 billion per unit, it is not just fast, it's unstoppable and potentially untouchable. These missiles aren't just fast, they represent a shift in global power that no military can ignore. In a world where reaction time is measured in seconds, the side with hypersonic dominance doesn't just win the battle, it decides if there's a battle at all. These weapons don't fight fair. They strike before radar locks on, before politicians respond, before the world even blinks. This is the future of warfare, and it's already here. Subscribe to stay ahead of the curve as we uncover the systems shaping tomorrow's conflicts. Like the video if you value real military insight, share it with those who track global defense seriously, and let us know in the comments. Which hypersonic missile truly changes the game, and why?